Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your January 2019 mid-month check-in. This is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? All right, if this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Gemini, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Gemini. This is for Gemini for January 2019 for their mid-month check-in. What is going on with Gemini? Gemini. Ooh, okay. All right. Wow. Okay, I get it. All right, so this is fate. This is destiny. This is a very healing card. This is your hopes, your dreams, that kind of thing. The star. This is Aquarius energy. I've got fire here. I've got air here. I've got earth here. I've got Capricorn here. I'm going to read the energies of the cards, okay? The star card is a very healing energy, okay? And I think that's the significance of this card here with you. You're trying to get to your wish fulfillment. You're trying to go after what you want in life, okay? Um, and there are some obstacles that we need to face to get there, okay? One is trying to let go of something toxic, a toxic relationship, I feel, right, that you've been dealing with, maybe having a hard time healing from that, a hard time letting go. Um, this is Capricorn energy, right? Now the toxicity that's been surrounding you, surrounding you could have been a third party situation, it could have been alcohol, drugs, whatever the, the case may be. Somebody, somebody could have been completely obsessed with you. I mean, it's just whatever it is, it's bad news and you are trying to heal from this energy right here. Okay, and it is becoming, uh, it's, it's very challenging, okay? Um, we have this Queen of Wands energy in the challenge position. So this is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This Queen of Wands goes after what she wants, right? Very much like the King of Wands. Very passionate about life, very passionate about the people in her life, very passionate about her career, um, and that's where, you know, you're, you need to start going after your hopes and your dreams here, but there's been this toxic energy that's been holding you back, you know, and I feel like you are struggling to um, move forward and to obtain your goals and, and dreams and things of that nature. Now, this Queen of Wands is also all about confidence and stepping into your power and moving forward and, you know, kind of picking yourself up and dusting yourself off. I think you're, you're having a hard time with that because this, whatever this toxic energy is that has been holding you down for so long, I think it's really messed with your confidence level and your self-esteem, okay? Your advice is to put the work in. We need to step into our power and we need to start working on that. We need to let go of this toxic energy um, and start moving forward to what we want, to what's going to bring us wish fulfillment, okay? Um, this is being very focused, very dedicated, and I feel like that is to yourself, Gemini, to healing, to moving forward, 
to going after your dreams to pursuing your wants and uh, letting things go. I think you need to be very focused on that. And do you see all this, these other distractions, these other little pinnacles floating around here? No, you need to focus on you for a while so that you can pick yourself up, dust yourself off, step into your power and say, no, I am not dealing with this toxic energy anymore. I am going after my passions. I am going after my dreams. I am going after what I want, who I want in my life. That's what that's saying. Healing, mind, body, and spirit. Okay, the focus is getting stability back in your life. Okay, um, the focus, you know, you could even uh, have to be moving with this card. Uh, this is the Four of Wands. This is more fire energy, okay? This is putting down roots somewhere, for one thing. This is celebration. But I think your focus here is to stabilize your home life, to get that domestic bliss in, to just be everything to be calm. So you can work on yourself and your dreams and the things that you want in a relationship, in your life. I mean, this is the whole, you know, this is a, this is a huge life-changing moment. Your focus on, is getting everything stable and having everything grounded. And you are going to be putting the work in to do that. However, in the outcome, you're going to have to walk away from this toxic situation in order for you to get passionate about life again, in order for you to have stability in your home, in order for you to have your wish fulfillment and go after the things and the types of relationships that you want in your life and the kinds of people you want in your life and your career. I mean, this is everything. In order for you to get wish fulfillment, you're going to have to walk away from something that no longer is serving you on a mental, emotional, or spiritual level, okay? And it's, it's bringing instability to your home and you need to focus on yourself and getting your, your, your home life grounded and stable. So we have the Five of Swords here and this is like continuously going up against a brick wall. This is a battle that you cannot win. It's like, you know, you tried to fix it and you tried to fix it and nothing seems to get accomplished. Maybe it's better for a little while and then it goes back to this, right? So now we have to rise above. We have to step into our power and we have to walk away from so long, something that is no longer serving us. It's only bringing us down, not only emotionally, mentally, but spiritually as well. All right, so... Please clarify this Five of Swords for Gemini. Please clarify. Yes, this is where you're going to have your victory. This is where you're going to have your victory, Gemini. We have the Six of Wands here. This is more fire energy. You're going to be recognized for all the hard work that you have done. You are going to be um, seen. You're going to be heard. Okay, when you walk away, that that's where your victory lies. It's almost like a relief. Okay, a lot of communication going on here. A lot of back and forth, back and forth. You have to be very open and talk about um, how you're feeling, what you want out of life, how you're going to obtain this wish fulfillment, how you're going to obtain this victory. Maybe this person, this situation that um, is very toxic in your life, it keeps coming around because they want your attention. They keep trying to communicate with you and you are realizing, you know what? I can't do this anymore. It's, it's too much. I need to focus on myself. I need to stabilize my home life. I need to get my passions back. I need to get my power back. And I need to go after the things that I want and the people that I want in my life. And you're starting to realize you want that positivity. You want, you want hope again. You want to have faith in life and love again. 
okay? And this is for Gemini. For January. 2019 for their mid-month check-in. This is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? Love yourself first. That's that that's this whole reading. That is exactly what we've been talking about. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Putting your foot down and walking away from a toxic situation, that is where your victory lies. It's time to retreat, okay? It's time to disconnect from this toxic energy. Wow, okay. Love yourself first, Gemini. That's what this is all about about enough with the toxicity stepping into your power being very dedicated and focused on what on your hopes and your dreams and stabilizing your home life walking away from a toxic situation is where your victory lies all right so that's what we have it's going to be, it's, you know, it's going to take some time, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's work, but man, is it ever worth it? Is it ever worth it? All right. That's where your wish fulfillment is going to come in, right? All right, Gemini, we will say some prayers for you. Um, I'm going to be working on the new series uh, the Future Lover readings that uh, you all voted on. So I'm excited about that. And um, that will be next week. I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then Friday is the live Love Luster Loss also around noon, East, noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all of that out. And thank you all for being here. And I hope you have a great week. Right? Very empowering reading, Gemini. All right, we'll talk to you soon. God bless.